Once again, we are here at uh, Texas uh, Frightmare Weekend. Uh, Ray Boucher reporting, and with me, Glenn Coburn, who, of course, uh, writer and director of the uh, 80s classic Bloodsuckers from Outer Space. Uh, they had a, a screening this morning. Uh, Glenn, thank you for joining us. Tell us a little bit about the movie for those folks out there who may not remember it, either because they never saw it or probably too young now to remember a movie from uh, from the time period. Well, I think the thing about it is the title, Bloodsuckers from Outer Space, is very familiar to people, whether they've seen it or not, or because it just sounds like a movie they've seen. Uh, it got a big release, wide release initially when it first uh, came out in uh, Lorimar picked it up in like 85 and it, it del they delivered you know a, a gazillion units I can't remember and it was in every video store across the country uh, we sold it in markets all over the world um, and then you know uh, Warner Brothers bought Lorimar and so then they released it several times on, on VHS and so it, it really had a big a pretty you know good life for a movie of this caliber and uh, and then it kind of uh, has disappeared because there had the, the Every, the copies of VHS are all worn out, and there's a fan base, and they keep uh, contacting me and saying, "Will you put this? Uh, when's it coming out on DVD?" And I'm like, "Well, I don't have any control over that because I don't have the rights to it." So finally, I called the legal department at Warner Brothers, and they checked into it and said, uh, "We didn't renew the license. It's all yours." I found a 35 uh, millimeter print in my closet in a wrapper that had never been projected, brand new, well not brand new, it's 23 years old, sent it to the transfer house, they did this, you know, spent five hours, uh, you know, put it, put it on the rank turbo, did Da Vinci color correction, and it's beautiful, it's sharp, it's slick, it premiered at the Joe Bob Briggs third annual world movie, uh, drive-in movie festival in 84, and I've never seen it look as slick and clear and sharp as, as since then, until now since I put it on DVD, and uh, it's the color is saturated. The sound is great. Uh, I just saw it projected uh, upstairs, and it's just it even looks great uh, DVD uh, projected. And, and I'm, I, I mean, I'm hearing things on the soundtrack that I haven't, I don't remember ever hearing. Oh, yeah. So uh, we're excited about it. It's got a 30-minute uh, uh, documentary uh, special feature, Bloodsucker Reunion, where I got together cast and crew members from 24 years ago, and they tell stories about the movie. And uh, it, so it's. It's a great uh, DVD, it's, it's fun, and I'm very excited to be uh, getting it back out there, not only to the original fan base, but I'm finding even to the young kids who are, who are interested and who are buying the DVDs and who are in the screening and enjoying it. So it's, uh, it's a good thing, and I'm going to hit up, you know, the other conventions and see what happens. All right. Hey, we appreciate it. And, of course, uh, let me mention also briefly, quickly, the, the great original box art. I, I know I've seen this, and... Uh, Beautiful, beautiful piece of work. Uh, Glenn Coburn here at the Texas Frightmare Weekend, bloodsuckersfromouterspace.com. Yes, go to bloodsuckersfromouterspace.com. The website is it's there, but I'm still working on it. You can blog. You can go to uh, blog suckers from the website, and you can blog about the movie if you saw it or if you saw the DVD and if you like the new quality and all that stuff uh, of the transfer and the, the special feature. And, um, and, uh, yeah, you can email me at info at bloodsuckersfromouterspace.com if you want and tell me what you think about the movie. All right. Appreciate it. Go to the website and check it out.